Well, now that we've determined that doing the target idle speed change hasn't done anything as far as making sure the PCM can maintain the idle, at this point it only knows what we're looking for, adaptives don't have enough uh, authority to make sure that we idle where we want. We kind of expected that. Now what we're going to do is go back, change the base running airflow. This too you'll find is very simple. We're basically going to go back to a similar uh, section that we were in before by clicking on engine. Next thing we're going to do is back to the idle. However, instead of this section here where we've got base idle RPM, we're going to go over here to the airflow section. And here's where you're going to find your base running airflow table. This is what we were discussing earlier that's similar to a th uh, set screw, throttle set screw on a carburetor. Now when you click on this, you're going to find again the engine coolant temperature across the top in Fahrenheit and on the left the two conditions in gear versus park neutral. Now you'll notice these values here, they're in pounds per minute. Uh, myself personally, my own personal preference, this is a little tedious because I don't want to deal in hundreds or thousands of a pound per minute. So what I typically do is view this particular table in metric and if we do that, we find that we get some numbers up here that are just a little more manageable. Now we're dealing in grams per second. So again, normal operating temperature, you're going to find in this particular range here, actually this would equate to 176. So basically you're dealing in this range and you'll notice that it's the PCM is commanding 6.2 grams per second for target idle uh, base running airflow. Now in this case, what we're going to do is we're probably going to go just a little bit more than double that. Uh, what I've basically found is that with most manual vehicles, manual transmission cars, you're going to be able to get away with 10 or 11 grams per second with a mild to a medium aggressive cam. Uh, in the case of cars that have an automatic transmission, you don't necessarily have the same inertia as you would with a flywheel and a clutch setup, but you do have extra load as far as the torque converter is concerned because, of course, you are pushing against that torque converter, so you typically may require a little bit more. So in this case, we're going to go anywhere from 12 to 13. So that's basically what we do is make these changes now. You can make those changes here, find out how they work. Uh, obviously, when you're looking at the colder temperatures, you don't necessarily want to add that same amount because you'll completely over-rev the car. So what you can do is, in this case, when we hit about 175 Fahrenheit, 180 Fahrenheit, which corresponds to 80 Celsius, we've got 12.7 in gear. And what we're probably going to do is simply go between and interpolate these values. Now, if we end up interpolating between these, you'll see that it lifts them all up. But here at colder temperatures, we may not necessarily need that much more air. Again, if you find that when you start the car up and it is at a cold temperature that you simply don't have enough air that it's stalling, you can go back and add to this side of the table as well. That's basically what you want to do is increase it little by little. Make sure you've got stability. You want to add enough airflow that the PCM can absolutely control that idle speed, but not so much that you hang by a large margin. Hanging by a couple hundred RPM, not too bad. We can fix that with ignition timing. But for now, we've made these changes. Let's uh, save these values now. And again, same saving method. I always try to save it as a new file uh, just to make sure we know what we're looking at. In this case, we're going to add base running airflow. So now I know I've made those two changes. And again, we're going to go back, end up writing this calibration to the car, test this again, see where we're at. So let's give it a roll and find out where we're going.